Welcome to Nursing School Explained and another video in the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications list here. So today we'll go over levothyroxine, which is a classification of a thyroid replacement hormone. So this is kind of a unique class of medications. So the indication is hypothyroid, so too low of a thyroid. Uh, and the action that it has, it increases the metabolic rate of tissues and restores normal balance because when we're treating the hypothyroid, we bring bringing the patient back up to a normal thyroid level. Side effects only occur with excessive doses. So that is if the dose is too much, if the patient accidentally takes too much, um, or if for some reason an overdose should occur. And those side effects include signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism because now we've given the patient too much to treat their, hy to treat their hypothyroidism and now they're going towards the opposite end of the balance spectrum here. And those side effects is that the patient could be irritable, there is heat intolerance, weight loss, and arrhythmias, particularly atrial fibrillation. So be aware of those. And remember that those signs and symptoms of hyperthyroidism are always the opposite of what we would see with hypothyroidism. And I put the link for those two disorders in the video description below if you're interested. Now for nursing considerations and patient teaching, because we know it can affect um, arrhythmias, we want to make sure we check the patient's apical pulse and their blood pressure before we administer the medication as well as listen very carefully for a full minute when we assess the apical pulse to detect any arrhythmias, any irregularities in their heartbeat. Now the patient also needs to have a recheck of their thyroid hormone levels after about 8 to 12 weeks of therapy and it does take that long of a time to really see a difference for the hormone levels in the bloodstream to be detectable um, and change. Um, the most common questions that you will see about this medications like on NCLEX or on your course exams will be how to teach the patient to take this medication and here are the answers. So take on an empty stomach 30 to 60 minutes before breakfast and many times the recommendation is just to have the medication at the bedside table with a glass of water so the patient can take it first thing in the morning or in case they're taking they're getting up to use the restroom at night, they can just take it then and therefore they are taking it on empty stomach. Take it the same time each day is very important. It will be a lifelong therapy because that thyroid gland is not producing enough thyroid hormone and therefore this is going to be a requirement. And the other thing is we want to advise the patient to take it four hours apart from any antacids iron and calcium supplements, otherwise they'll interact and decrease the absorption rate of the levothyroxine. Thanks so much for watching this video. Check out the other videos in the top 10 most commonly prescribed medications list and I'll see you soon right here on Nursing School Explained. Thanks for watching.